I just realized these planes have propellers. I haven't been putting they, those on, but tell, we'll see if Jay tell Joe he doesn't need to. What was the question? Hi, so my name's Olivia and I'm with Cineworld and we are very excited to be bringing Top Gun Maverick to the big screen. Oh yeah. What do we have here? Yeah, here I thought we were special. Fellas, this here's Bagman. Hangman. Oh, whatever. What the hell kind of mission is this? I've got a bit of a game for you today. We're okay. going to do a Kaczynski versus Teller who can build the most airplanes in their interview as possible. Okay. So I'm going to hand them over. You've got to build oh, them and then shoot it across the room. I saw an interview where you said that Tom Cruise was so good at giving you advice over the phone that you actually sometimes have to cut him off and hang up so you can go on with your day. Yeah. Um, Is so this was... messing up the sound? <laughs> It's okay. Whatever, we're live. <laughs> we're rolling, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, so I was wondering what the best piece of advice <laughs> that Tom gave you was. <laughs> uh, don't think, just do, I think is, is one that's in the movie. And um, yeah, I mean, when you're doing this stuff, you, I think you, you really can't overthink it. You just need to throw yourself into it and commit. Yeah, I think that's very good advice. I'm on my second airplane now. <laughs> I know you have a background in engineering and I'm sure you've been asked many times about how you film the scenes where the cast are flying the, the planes. But I was wondering if your engineering background and interest kind of played a part in how you directed and filmed the scenes um, in the sky. Definitely. Uh, I studied aerospace engineering in school and mechanical engineering. So um, I find that's helpful in all the films I've worked on. But particularly in this one, um, one of my favorite parts of this film is we got to design a jet that may or may not exist, which you see at the beginning of the film. Have you seen the movie? I have seen the movie. Okay. It's incredible. So <laughs> the first plane that we see Maverick flying in the movie was designed in conjunction with Lockheed Martin uh, and particularly a secret uh, division or a division of their company that makes top secret airplanes called Skunk Works. And I got to work with those, uh, the engineers and designers there on to design that airplane and we built it for real. Incredible. And we incorporated um, real pieces of real experimental aircraft into the cockpit and uh, some of the technology that you see in that plane. So for me, the engineer in me, that was kind of a dream come true. So yes, definitely. That yeah. sounds a lot more complicated than the, uh, the little planes that yeah, we're building. Yeah, but look at I, I got one done. <laughs> there. Yes, amazing. You've got to shoot it across the room okay. anywhere you want. Okay, I'm going to throw it at <laughs> Catherine. Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell. Let me be perfectly blunt. You are not my first choice. You are here at the request of Admiral Kazansky, AKA Iceman. He seems to think that you have something left to offer the Navy. What that is, I can't imagine. So as you're competing with Joe for this, I was wondering what your favorite on set moment with Joe was. I think the, I mean, the great balls of fire thing was, was, was pretty fun. Um, that was a good one. <laughs> um, and also I just think, cause in our last film, Only the Brave, I was I was playing like a, a junkie, kind of a recovering junkie, and so I said, "Joe, the next movie we do together, just make me look like good." So I think you definitely did that in this yeah. film. <laughs> Is this a uh, number spray tanning? Number three, yeah. number two, number three. No, that was two. As you're currently competing against Miles to see who can build the most planes, uh -huh. uh, I thought I'd ask what your favorite on-set moment with Miles was. You know what it was? It was the uh, in the hard deck. There's a scene where Miles gets on the piano and sings a very special song. Yes. And the energy in the room that night, because he played it for real and sang it for real, because he learned it, was unlike anything I've seen uh, before or since. Uh, and it was a really, really special night, so much fun. And uh, Miles did a great job. So I'd say that that's the one. That's incredible. Two. That was actually my, uh... oh, here it goes. What the hell? Good morning, aviators. This is your captain speaking. And we're off. As well as IMAX, we're going to be showing Top Gun Maverick in ScreenX and 4DX. Have you heard of 4DX or been in a 4DX? Series? I have heard about it. I haven't been in it yet, uh, but I have a buddy here, Dan Fogler. He's an actor and he loves to watch a movie in 4DX and then I guess interview you afterwards. Oh, amazing. Yeah. yeah, it's a pretty epic experience because yeah. the seats move in time with the action so the audience can really like feel like they're in the plane with you and there's 
water and wind. Um, so I was wondering if there's like a specific scene you think would work really well without giving any spoilers in a 4DX. Maybe seat. during the beach football scene, they could like, the seat could coat you in baby oil. Oh my gosh, that would be dramatic, wouldn't thrill. it? What a thrill. What a thrill that would be. What number plane are we on now? Four. Four, four, four. You're doing very so. well. And I don't even have kids. Joe should be very good at this. Have you been in a 4DX cinema or kind of know how it works? I did. I got to watch the 4DX um, version of the film about a month ago and, and tweak some of the final effects, which are exciting. Oh, that is very exciting. Uh, so that was my first experience in 4DX. How did you watch. find it? I thought it was really cool, a completely different way to experience, definitely for people who want the most extreme version of the movie. Yeah. Uh, I would recommend it. Um, but the... The moving seats, the wind in your hair, the snow, the water, the smoke. Um, it was it was really cool. So yeah, it's I'm excited pretty, for people to see it. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. I think especially the top one because it can make people feel like they're in the plane with you. Right. Um, and I was wondering if there's any kind of scene you think would work really well in this film because you know you've in got 40x or screen x or both. In a, oh, you can give me both if you want. Screen x. Um, well, you know. The beauty of Screen X in this film is we had six cameras in the cockpit and the two side cameras we're not able to use all the time in the real film. But in Screen X, because they have those side screens, we're able to use that footage. So what you're seeing in Screen X is live action footage on the side screens. Incredible. Which is, I think, a first for them. That's really unique. All the flying scenes are in Screen X, which will make those great. Uh, 4DX, I like there's, there's a scene where there's a malfunction on one of the planes and the auditorium fills with smoke. Um, I thought that was really cool. Oh my gosh. Here we go. In three, two, one. We're going into combat on a level no living pilot's ever seen. Not even him. You think up there you're dead. Believe me. Um, the character of Goose from the original Top Gun <laughs> is pretty iconic. Um, so with Rooster being Goose's son, I was just wondering how you got in character for this role. I just realized these planes have propellers. I haven't been putting but, those on, but tell, we'll see if Joe tell Joe he doesn't on. need to. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> so the character yeah. of Goose in the original Top Gun right. is pretty iconic. Right. And obviously you're playing Rooster, so I was wondering how you got in character for this role as, as Goose's son? Uh, I mean, I thought the mustache was was pretty important. Uh, we kind of lightened my hair a little bit. I think I was pretty tan. Uh, and yeah, I mean, Goose is, he's really just, he's such a, he's such a vibe. And he's so I really just tried to keep <laughs> the, the vibe, sorry. <laughs> keep the vibe going. So there's a lot of skill going on at the same time as, as talking there. Did you, I can so see much. you got rid of the, the mustache. Was that, is that yeah. a recent? My recent wife thought it was, Really, like, just weird. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's, I think both ways look great. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Someone's not coming back from this. Those are your pilots. Anything happens to them. Smoke in the air! Smoke in the air! You will never forgive yourself. Top Gun Maverick. People have been waiting over 30 years for the, the newest Top Gun. Why do you think that they should go and see it on the big screen in the cinema? Oh, well, because aren't people bored of just staying at home? First of all, like, I think people, like, get out of your house. It's a really... No, but it is a big movie. I mean, the, the amount of effort that went in technically to, to make this film and to be able to deliver it to audiences and to capture... All, all that issue, I'm just hitting her with all of uh, um, Really is, that's, that's, I mean, that's what, that's what you want. And if I'm taking a little more time to answer this question, I'm very passionate about it, but also I just want to make sure that I could finish all of these planes in time. So yeah, it's just a, a wonderful movie and get out of your house. That is pretty impressive. You've been all the planes. Well, thank you so much for thank talking you. to me. And have a lovely day. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. How many planes have you I've have built made? three. Amazing. Okay. I think, uh, I'm on my fourth. We'll see I think if I Miles finish. might have built seven. Oh, my gosh. Well, you know what? I can't <laughs> So I think, I think we might have a winner, but I think you could probably fit one more in. Okay. But um, thank you so much for, for taking the time to talk to me. And I'm really excited for Top Gun to be on the big screen. Thank you. Me too. All right. See ya. See you soon. Bye. All right, I got four. You got four. I think we can count that as four. I don't know if I put the wing on right, but I'm sure Miles is like fiercely sweating away while doing it. I he think probably... he, uh, I think he might have not put the propellers on the end. Okay, well those, are, the, those don't that count. That was the most fiddly bit. <laughs> Miles doesn't know anything about airplanes. 
All right, cool. Here we go. Thanks. Absolutely smashed it. Thanks. All right, yeah, thanks. they took. I don't think I could have done four, so thank you. No turning back now. Come on! Jeez! Haven't any fun yet?